Brian. This show is going to be a lot about you. Uh, she talks about this suspected serial killer that's in jail right now on her show all the time. She just found out that he watches her show from jail all the time. I assume she was about to say, guess what, Brian? We're never fucking uttering your name on this network ever again because you don't deserve to get off to the fucking notoriety of this shit. But she said, call me. You know what else she said recently? We are so lucky that a graphic designer did a animation of the crime. I don't think, any, nope, I don't think that's a lucky thing. This is where I'm drawing the line because I have had a lot of nightmares about this man because of TikTok, actually. I am done watching violence and crime. I grew up watching Criminal Minds, CSI, Law and Order SVU when I was way too young to be watching that shit. And I look back now and I'm like, that is part of the reason I am fucked up. And now that I've been sensitizing myself to it again, and I see the stuff that we're watching on TV, and I see the stuff that we're... Why the fuck are we watching crime for entertainment? Wow. Like, why are you giving this guy what he wants? Clearly he wanted to be some famous fucking psycho. And y'all are like, okay, tell us about it. Can you tell us more? Let's, let's have a call. We'll have you on the show. Tell us about how you did it. <sighs> what the fuck? No. This is why a lot of people do this shit. Is for you to talk about it on your show. People commit crimes with the purpose of people in the media talking about it and people at their homes thinking about it at night. School shooters do that. And then we put their face and their name everywhere. And they get what they want. That's crazy. But yeah, that really made me gasp. I thought she was about to say, you, we are never talking. This is the last time I'm going to utter your name. But it didn't go that way. <laughs>